Hello, I'm Juan Davies, Chief Creative Officer at KCT and PBS SoCal, and I am joined by the newsroom of KPCC and LAist on a daily reporter roundup. How is everyone? Good. Awesome. Jackie, we have new information from the county on how long we might need to stay inside. Yeah, county health officials have extended the stay at home order until May 15th. So that means only essential businesses will continue to operate and people should stay at home as much as possible. We also got some new data today and it's good news. The current social distancing measures are working. They also had some interesting modeling that they shared. It showed that if current physical distancing is maintained, about 30% of Angelinos will get COVID-19 by August. But if even more people stay at home through the summer, that number drops to 5%. So it's a huge difference. So the take home message is don't get complacent. People can spread the virus when they don't have symptoms and we need to encourage everyone who can to wear a cloth face mask in public and stay six feet away. We also have an update today on antibody testing. That the test that helps tell whether or not you've had coronavirus. And it's a really important marker in reopening everything and getting back out into the world. Robert's been following that today. Yeah, uh, researchers with LA County and USC are gonna look at the test results from a thousand people in this study. Um, I talked with one of the lead researchers this morning. He was out in a parking lot somewhere in LA where they've got tents set up and they were pricking people's fingers to get blood samples. The antibodies to COVID-19 show up in your blood about a few days after infection. So this test will search for those antibodies and give us a much better picture of who's gotten coronavirus in LA, including people who got it um, but never got sick. So with this data, it's, it's likely the county's mortality rate from COVID-19 will go down from the nearly 3% that it's at now. That's because there might be a lot of people who were infected, they never got tested, uh, and then they recovered. And then another big reason the test for antibodies is based on what we know now, uh, if people who have them are at much lower risk for reinfection, even if that risk is not completely zero. The economic toll also continues to grow here and nationally. David's been taking a look at projections for LA. What could happen next? So, you know, just to remind you, we already know that a record number of Californians have lost their jobs so far. More than 2 million have filed for unemployment. That's about one out of every eight workers in the state. And some researchers say that things could get worse the longer this drags on. This study is coming from the LA nonprofit, The Economic Roundtable, and they estimate that 43% of California workers are at high risk of unemployment. They got that statistic by looking at risk factors like not being able to work from home, being paid hourly, and working in fields that are deemed non-essential. They say that this risk is even higher in the LA area because we have a lot of workers here that are in these kind of low paid service jobs in industries like restaurants, retail, and hospitality. The report also finds that this risk is not distributed evenly. It uh, shows that younger workers, Latinos, and those earning low incomes are at higher risk of losing their jobs. Finally today, we've got a little good news, hopefully for kids out there worried about their grades. Kyle's been looking into that one. Yeah, and so those of you who might be watching right now, LAUSD students who are watching PBS because your teachers told you to watch PBS, this is some news directly for you. Uh, there was this big deal that was signed between the teachers union and LAUSD yesterday, uh, and it basically lays out a lot of the ground rules for how distance learning is going to work for as long as distance learning has to happen. We don't know exactly how long it's going to happen in LAUSD. It could be for the rest of the school year. Uh, and there were some ground rules set, like teachers are going to hold regular office hours, and they're going to set regular schedules to try and avoid uh, student scheduling conflicts. Uh, but also, uh, they agreed uh, that students will not get a lower grade than they had in March. Elementary students, your grades can't go down from where they were on March 13th, and high school students, they can't get lower than they were on March 31st. Uh, and already I've heard from a few teachers who are worried that you're going to slouch off but I know that you are not going to do that because you are all diligent students. You're watching PBS after all, so uh, prove them right. Well, I think that's gonna work really well for those students because there's some parents that are having a very hard time with this online learning and are not being able to keep up with it. Uh, well, thank you all from the KPCC and LA's newsroom and thank you all for tuning in. Be safe, take care of your family, and we'll see you on Monday. Uh -huh.